My mother used to say there was a sign on the trees, apparently that said, any stray, go to Kathy's house, you know, she'll take care of you. Growing up, I kept wanting to be a vet, and that kind of held true up until like my senior year, and I didn't know if I could cut, um, what is it, chemistry. Uh, but I've always had a love for animals, you know, whether it be an injured bird or a stray animal of sorts. So I've always had some type of dog or cat or both at the same time. As Kathy Boley and her husband John raised their family in the area of St. Louis where she grew up, her mother's belief in Kathy's nurturing spirit would be confirmed. Dad died uh, when we were like 16 and a half, you know, 17, and um, she never, you know, never withered. You know, she was always constantly doing something with us or doing, you know, keeping an eye on everybody, checking on everybody. She's always been the rock, always there. Don't matter if it's even me calling at 11 o'clock, you know, getting to work and needing to talk. So she's always been that way. Kathy brings that steadfast, caring nature to her job as the branch team leader of the Bridgeton, Missouri branch. A branch that, well, isn't your normal region's blueprint. Our branch in Bridgeton is very small. Um, it's been there 20 plus years. I describe it as like a double wide trailer. The first thing I thought of when I walked in the door was, wow, this place is small. Um, how are we ever going to have enough room to, to work you know, with everybody and help our customers the way we need to? We're small, but we're mighty. We're efficient, we do everything that we need to do for the customers and they like the small, quaint size of it. Everybody that Kathy sees at the branches, whether they're you know new to banking and they're 16 years old, or whether it's somebody who's been with the bank for over 50 years, it doesn't matter. She, she cares for each one of her customers the same way. There's multiple times where somebody will call on the phone and, and ask for her, and that's the only person that they want to talk to. No matter how friendly I am or how long I've probably been there, it, they're they're going to be her customers, you know, for the rest of her career. She is always doing for others, putting others before herself. She's just so thoughtful, even to strangers, someone on the street, a little stray dog, it doesn't matter. She's always there for whoever's in front of her. She takes care of everything at the bank for me. I don't drive, so she'll come over, get all the papers that she needs, take them with her to the bank, and then the next day, bring them back to me. And uh, just, I, she just does a lot of things for me. Well, Jerry, it's, uh, I don't remember how many years ago, but um, she's like one of many of my customers that come in and just happened to come in and she had recently lost her spouse, um, which I of course can identify with. At the time, I had of course extended the offer, said, you know, if you need anything, you know, feel free to call upon me, you know, especially with her you know, disabilities and such. It just kind of grew and we became closer friends. I mean, she now goes to my, you know, grandkids' you know, birthday parties, whatnot, baby showers. Um, we watch TV together. When I go to her house to see her and her kids and she'll go, come over here to see my family, that's, that's extended family as far as I'm concerned. Kathy's extended family also includes the four-legged furry kind, as she volunteers for shifts at the St. Animal Pet Adoption Shelter. She's been a blessing as far as you can always count on her. And with this being a volunteer organization, you don't get uh, always enough people that will jump at a chance to come to the shelter um, if I'm heading up an event and I have nobody else to help me, I know Kathy will help me. On one of her shifts, Kathy met Ruckus and decided to foster him and help find his forever home. Ruckus is pretty crazy. Um, he fits right in with my family. <laughs> so he's tickled to be here, I think and live with me. But yeah, I rescued him, um, had him for a good six months, 
took him to the adoption events and things. People thought he was beautiful, loved him, friendly, but nobody wanted to adopt him. Then come about September, certain people were interested in adopting him, and I just could not bring myself to do it. I was like, no, so I text one of the girls and they were at a board meeting and I said, I can't do this. The dog is staying here. Kathy Boley is the definition of a nurturer. It's evident in the way she comforts and guides her customers, in the way she treats her furry friends, and in the unwavering way she is there for her family. I would say my greatest joy is my family. You know, all of it. Um, my kids and my grandkids. I kind of think that's what I live for. That's why I'm here, I guess, my purpose in life, you know, is, you know, to raise my kids and look out for them and help them raise their kids, you know, and just be there for them.